Okay, so the purpose of this video is to learn how to transfer the library from one computer to another. The way to go about this on the you know main computer where all the music and the apps and whatnot are. First open up iTunes. I've just got a test one here open. So for example I've got a couple of sample pieces of music, a couple of sample applications, and a sample playlist. Now I've got a test song as well I'm going to import. I'm just going to show you how it all works. If you go to edit and then preferences you'll see this little thing here that mentions copy files to media folder when added to library. Now what that means if that is ticked then probably all of your music is in one central location but if it's not ticked then let's say you import a file to your library just like this one. while it'll actually show up in your library, it's not physically stored there. iTunes just points back to the one that's basically the original file location. So if you copy your iTunes media folder, this file will not be in it, because it's only referenced by iTunes. So what you will need to do before transferring a library is actually consolidate all of your music. So I guess the way to do that is go to File, go to library and go to organize library consolidate files and that will be that and once you've chosen to consolidate you just go OK and that file that was once sitting on the desktop would actually get copied to the iTunes media folder so all of your music if it's referenced instead of actually stored in the media folder it will copy across so of course with one, my, my example here it's only just one song so it's going to take a few seconds but if you have like thousands of songs it, it could take hours to consolidate the entire thing um, once that's all done the next step is to find out where your actual media folder is stored so typically it'll be in the same type of folder but in this case you've got your path here um, documents and settings because I'm using Windows XP on this computer but on a Windows 7 or Vista it'd be C users username documents or my documents music and then um, there'll be an iTunes folder so that's your path there you know where the folder is stored you can actually just open that one up so in this case yeah, let's just go do it the proper way so my computer then C drive documents and settings whatever your computer's username is my documents. Now remember this path will be different depending on whatever computer you're using but um, this is where my one stored. So pretty much all my playlists, all my media, all my album cover, artwork, whatnot, it's all stored in there and iTunes is the folder that you'd copy. So in this case just go copy there and what you do is plug in perhaps an external hard drive um, in my case I'm just going to use, use a USB stick since my library is actually quite small just plug that in then um, I'll cancel that for now I'll start my computer and that's my little USB stick there so Apple junk iTunes well actually I had one on there earlier but yeah let's get rid of that So you should have like a, a blank hard drive or a, or a hard drive with enough space to put it onto. And yeah, you just copy the one in your documents folder and throw that on your external hard drive. And that's all you really need to do from that part. Now, let's pretend we were switching over libraries. In fact, I might actually delete my library just for demonstration purposes. Um, let's say it was a brand new computer. You would not really have any of this. So it's probably not going to let me do it because iTunes is open actually. One second. Oh, there we go. Cool. So this would be a brand new computer. If I were to open up iTunes now, it would probably tell me that I have an empty library, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. So, no music, 
no movies, no TV shows, and that test playlist I had before is gone. So, what you would be doing, well, as you can see there, sorry, it generates a blank one. Every time you delete the library, it'll, it'll generate a blank copy of everything. Um, so the idea is you would close iTunes, you'd find where the actual library is, delete that folder, put in your library, and then you'd launch iTunes again. And as you can see, all of it's come back, so all my music is back, all my applications are back, my test playlist is back, and the same would be for any you know other playlist, artist albums, um, any any type of information you have saved, any artwork. Um, let's say you're not sure where to put the folder though. You can actually change the location. So, I change music. I've got a default path there. Let's say I wanted to set it to my desktop. I could actually set that to my desktop. And well, let's actually use a live example now. Put an iTunes folder there. Let's copy him. Let's paste that randomly to my desktop. And I could just select the iTunes one on my desktop instead. And that would work perfectly fine as well. So you can pretty much choose where you want your library to be and that's how you transfer everything. Hopefully that's helped out. Um, if you're not sure on what to do next, I do have a video about how to synchronize with a new computer. You might want to check that one out. Uh, yeah, that should be all for now.